Yes, you're seeing this correctly. There is some Pyramid gameplay in front of you. So Pyramid, I wanted to try out every hero and uh, you know, I'm gonna show you how good or how bad he is and some cool interactions with the buddy and maybe, you know, I was pleasantly surprised with the hero. Maybe he has some potential. Now, how Pyramid was usually played is, you know, Ref Reavers are great with it and so are uh, Chroma Wings. You like just early cards that scale up the attack a lot. That used to be Micro Mummy, which is not in the game anymore. I mean Micro Machine. But any cards that really ramp up attack are good because obviously you'll just gain a lot of health with your hero power. So I'm rolling for Weavers here. Uh, I'm just hero powering onto these cards, probably doing some sort of rough farm curve. And now all of these have one attack, so it's really hard to fill up our buddy meter. As you will see, like we barely get any progress and we do want to hit our buddy rather early, which could be a reason to just buy demons instead. And that's why this is like the only exception for tripling into a tree drop. Normally you hate tripling to a three, but if you had an early Weaver and we need some strength here, I think it's okay because you could also hit Katranat here, which would be one of the best hits. Now these all suck. I guess the uh, dragon buff is all right. But yeah, I just needed some strength to get my buddy and I don't think I can ever keep freezing this this triple over multiple rounds So taking a for a tree seems definitely reasonable here now Pyramid, what the hell are we doing? In case you don't know what the buddy does, it's basically a tier 3 card that whenever you gain health on the board, uh, that buddy will also gain it, but it has no trap. Now, the big flaw with Pyramid's buddy is that, you know, the attack is hard to scale up at 6 attack, um, and it's just a high health unit. So it's like a battle monster that scales up over time. Here it is on my board now. Uh, and then every time I play a demon now, Basically, the health that I'm going to gain onto my Weaver will go onto this card. Uh, so I'm being pretty picky here, rolling quite a lot. We found Katranat here, and this is a great shop to free. So if I play this Katranat here, I got plus 4, plus 4 onto my Weaver. And I should also get 4 HP only onto this buddy. And now if I hear power, sadly, the hear power landed onto my buddy itself, so it does nothing. But if it lands onto something else, that buddy will also get that health. So now this is a very clean turn. I can sell my taunt, hero power first, then buff eat the buff with the soul devourer so i get a crazy amount of stats if i eat with soul devourer those stats also go onto the buddy and this level here so this turn gold wise worked perfectly we got a lot of stats and you can see how big the buddy is already like we are mid game monster right now that is just pure much job just have insane mid game stats like this chroma wing as you can see is great happy that i buffed up the health it's a high attack high health card now same with the weaver and that is like the major upside from pure you just have like crazy mid game cards if you play like this but the issue with pure is that you have no late game like your hero power sucks from now on like one gold for uh, some health is okay you still press it if you have a goal left but you don't necessarily you know want to do that every turn and late game it doesn't matter at all same with this buddy main issue is that again the attack doesn't scale up so it doesn't really trade well with big cards in the mid late game plus it loses to poison there's no murlocs in the lobby so there's less poison but there's still spore and there is still um you know mike snows which is an issue now the only way to scale up the attack of uh, pyramid is if you buff it like major domos or if you argus it taunt it up and you can scale it up with arm so arm and then get some attack buffs onto it or find scavengers and as you can see we're actually a monster beating this um golden weaver demon uh, person. <laughs> and also an issue with taunting the uh, buddy is that, well, if they open with poison, they just snipe it right away. So you want to have multiple taunts if you do taunt your pyramid buddy. So that's why I taunted his soul of our as well. And uh, I also bought a big fernal. It's more mid-game scaling, which I'm just doing. I'll just buy demons. Now these taunts are perfect. They're gonna, first of all, buff my ref fever. And if they summon, they're gonna buff uh, up my um, big fernal, which I could end up scaling with uh, this, this board and if the big fernal scales it also scales up my buddy but only in combat so it's not permanent but still it's I guess it's a nice small bonus uh, and here we have someone leading with Max now and this is why you want to have multiple taunts if you do this now Max has a one in tree to go into our buddy it didn't which is great I like it ends up not mattering that much but our buddy is gonna eat you know, most of the, the stuff on his board and we just you know are able to pop this guy's eyes block so we are actually strong as a pyramid we are leading the lobby right now top six already and we have a triple the only way I think we ever can make it into a late game is if we triple into a 6 and find uh, a Felbat here. And that is like actual good late game scaling. It's pretty late for a Felbat, but I guess we could still snowball into something. Or an Amalgadon, maybe I can try and make it work. Uh, or Reborn Maxna. Sadly, we hit nothing. This is a horrible triple. So I guess it will have to be a Zep for now. Because uh, maybe it can snipe something from my opponent. Who knows? But I think Pyramid has a really fun playstyle. I really enjoy playing the game like this. Just figuring out ways to scale up small tier 1 cards and then mid game scaling with this big fernal and find a way to maybe buff up our pyramid but uh, or our buddy i should say but as you can see uh, our buddy is super bad against actual big cards like this guy is actual scaling our buddy just doesn't do anything 
because I haven't, you know, found scavengers or bran uh, or arms yet. But we got a triple buddy, so there is hope, Copium. <laughs> we can still triple into Felbite, but at this point, I think it's pretty late. Everyone is at like 1 HP in this top 5. Uh, so I guess uh, Max now would be best. We missed now. There's a Seafood Slinger, which could be alright, but I guess Nadina is the safest since it just shields our big dragons. So it's kind of like just a guaranteed good selfless. Also, Seafood Slinger, there is Murlocs in the lobby. I was wrong earlier. So it is just full poison, which is horrible for us. So I guess Pyramod, maybe in a better lobby, would be a little bit better, but a bit more consistent. But I guess the usual endgame for Pyramod would just be your couple big cards that you scaled up, which is your Weaver, maybe your uh, Chroma Wing, like I have on the board. Maybe Big Fredo will be big enough. This one isn't quite as big. And I guess your Buddy, depending on how, you know, quick you're able to scale it up. And then just Poison and, and Selfless, right? Just Shields and Poison should be able to counter uh, most other builds and fill those empty board spots that you have left, you know, just stack around your opponents. Again, multiple taunts here is great, I got rid of that spore, but, you know, the Mike Snob will connect into your taunt and we'll get zero value out of it. He's just a little bit too big for us, we almost were able to kill him here, but the Soul Devourer is just massive. Real life though, it's a top 4, uh, and there is a spore which I'll just gladly accept onto this board, and I guess we'll roll for Selfless, maybe another spore, a Sephin, and a Baron or a Ghoul, depending on who we face and if it's good, like a, a Ghoul is not gonna matter against Beast here. A, a Spore probably neither or is selfless, but I mean everything is better than this. Uh, this very matrix. So I'll just play a Spore, but we know that they're just a Mama Bear summon beast comp which is um maybe beatable just with the raw stats that we have and the high health uh, unless of course you have multiple poisons in the front which is going to be really annoying again uh, but other than that the red pack we could perhaps eat completely with our big um ref reaver which you know we end up doing we're gonna end up killing panda with pyramid i never thought i would say, say the sentence but yeah it actually feels pretty all right so this means that we're probably gonna be in a top two and now we just have to try and play around our lost opponent which is going to be the bear of or the omu both of them are tier 6 high rolling so let's see who it will be also lost in you will have noticed that i skipped uh, battle master battle master is a great buff because if you play it all the health will go onto the buddy and because you have a golden buddy it will go twice now i skipped it because i felt like stats don't matter anymore i didn't care too much about scaling but because it's final round and i think i'm dead anyway i just wanted to see how big our buddy was gonna get so it has 85 hp now it also will trigger the big fernal and the ref reaver so keep that in mind uh, but we're also on 4 HP, so it should be a relatively big battle monster. And imagine if we have a brand with it, then it would go even like twice. Uh, and we pretty much just double the stats of our buddy. This is massive. So demons might just be really important to have in a lobby with Pyramid because you have the early weavers and the battle monsters on tier 5 in case the stats still matter to just, you know, completely explode this buddy. Sadly, we were never again able to buff up the attack. But yeah, we're facing a full board. I'm not even going to show you this fight. This is disgusting. This is unbeatable with anything ever. Uh, so I'm more than happy with second place with Pyramid here. That's an achievement to me. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.